Suntory's bid out of $16 billion for Beam Inc. Um, looks like a very high price for a company that still has fundamental weaknesses. Despite having a number of excellent brands, such as Jim Beam and Crevoisier, Beam has two fundamental problems. The first is that it has a large proportion of its brands are low growth, low value brands, such as Larius Gin in Spain or Windsor Supreme Canadian Whiskey. Um, but a more fundamental, thing, fundamental problem is it's too narrowly focused. Two thirds of Beam's volumes are focused in North America and only 13% of its volumes are in um, emerging markets, of which the largest one market is Mexico, where there is a large chunk of um, low growth, low value, uh, value brands. Beam has, however, seen some very strong growth in recent years, but this has come about from driving the growth of its core brands in its core markets, notably the US, Germany, Australia and, uh, and the UK. While in the, the short to medium term this can continue, it is going to be far harder for, um, for them to carry on um, driving this growth. To give an idea of this, the problem that they're facing is that the, um, its flagship Jim Beam brand, 85% of its volumes come from the brand's top three markets, uh, the US, Australia and Germany. And uh, equally importantly, 90% of, um, of the brand's growth has come from these markets. This is a um, far, far less um, favourable position than its rival brands, Brown Foreman's Jack Daniels. For the company to um, continue its long-term growth, it will need to spend large amounts of money in expanding uh, internationally. This, with um, the high debt level that Suntory will be taking off on if it completes the deal, will mean that it um, will struggle to carry out that investment and it could leave a um, fundamentally weak company.